that's what Paul's saying in, in this text. I'm filling up what's lacking in the afflictions of Jesus. Jesus is ascended to heaven. He's risen from the dead. He's no longer here physically, but I'm here physically. And I am, in a way, Jesus representative in the world today. I'm buried with Christ in his death, raised with Christ in his resurrection. Therefore, I'll suffer with Christ in his suffering. You look at Paul's letters over and over again, he uses language like, um, you're in Christ, you're in Christ, you're in Christ. Why? Because for Paul, his identity was so wrapped up in who he was in Jesus that he had died to himself and now he was alive to Christ and everything that happened to him was essentially happening to Christ because he was in Christ and Christ was in him. That's how Paul thought of his life. That's how he thought of everything that he did. And so when Paul says, I feel up what's lacking in the afflictions of Jesus, he's saying, Jesus isn't here right now. I'm here, I'm suffering for, for him. And that's exactly what Peter and John said in Acts chapter four. Uh, we rejoice in our sufferings because we consider it a privilege to be kind of worthy uh, to suffer like our Lord uh, suffered. And so that, the way that Paul saw his life, I'm suggesting is the way we should see ourselves. Not asking ourselves the question, uh, that got popularized a long time ago. A bunch of people wore a lot of bracelets. Uh, what, WWJD, what would Jesus do? It's really more than that. If you're a Christian person, Jesus is in heaven. How do people see Jesus today? How do they feel him? How do they touch him? How do they experience his love and grace and mercy? They, they feel that, they experience it through the physical representation of Christ on the earth, which is his body, the church. And we are the church. The church is not a building. You're the church, I'm the church, and therefore uh, the degree to which we embrace that identity, we are representatives, we're ambassadors, we are the hands and feet of Jesus, whether it's in banking or teaching or in the church house, wherever it is we find ourselves, we're filling up um, what is lacking in the sufferings of Jesus, namely his physical presence. The physical presence of the church is the vehicle through which Jesus makes his appeal to the nations, whether it's in Kolkata, India, or uh, north side of Abilene. Texas.